Hello everyone. This is our set of the day. It says there is a university which organized a dance competition in which four students, Irfan, Sachin, Sehwag, and Yuraj took part. And uh, this competition has three rounds, and that uh, final ranks of these students are just the uh, sum total of the scores scored by them in the three rounds. So the students with the highest total score is given the rank one. The second uh, rank was given to the student who has the second highest total, and so on. Some partial information is given to us regarding the scores of these students in the three rounds and the uh, ranks and the total scores. So, Yuraj, there is certain uh, some more conditions, uh, some more information given that Yuraj scored equal in round one and round two, and the sum of his scores in these two rounds was equal to his score in the round three. That means Yuraj scored. Equal in the round one and round two. Let's say his score in the round one is A, round two is A, and sum of his scores in these two rounds was equal to his score in the round three. So in round three, he must have scored two A. Next, it says the score of any students, uh, sorry, score of any student in any individual round was not more than eight, and total score of any student in all the three rounds was uh, not less than thirteen. Uh, that means. No student has scored more than eight in any round, and the total score of the student should be at least thirteen. No student scored same in all the three rounds, and total score was not more than um, uh, sorry, total score was not same for any of the two students, and score of every student was uh, an integral value. Now let us check what could be the scores of the different students. Now for Sehwag, it is very easy since the total of Sehwag is seventeen. He has scored six and eight in the second and third round. So he must have scored three in the first round. Now Sachin was given rank one. His scores are seven and five, means twelve. So there are a uh, few possibilities for Sachin. Either Sachin could have scored seven plus five uh, and eight in the third round because he cannot score more than eight as per the information. Number two. So in that case, his score would be twenty, or it could be seven plus five plus seven, means score would be nineteen. Now he cannot score seven plus five plus six. This score for Sachin is not possible because in this case he will have score eighteen. Now if Sachin has eighteen score with rank one, then Sehwag should be the one who has rank two. But the question says rank two goes to Irfan. That means uh, Sachin cannot score eighteen. So eighteen is not possible for Sachin. Let's say Sachin scored nineteen. So Sehwag has 17 score. Sachin's score is 19. Irfan has second rank. That means Irfan's score should be more than Sehwag and less than Sachin. So he must have scored 18. In that case, his score in the third round would be six, which again violates the condition that no student scored same in all the three rounds. Here the score of Irfan is same in all the three rounds. That means Sachin cannot score 19. This is also not possible for Sachin. So Sachin's score would be twenty, right? Sachin's score would be twenty, and in that case, the score of uh, Sachin in the third round is eight. <coughs> and now, since Irfan cannot score six, six and six in three rounds, so he must have six, six and seven. So his score must be nineteen. Next, it says. Uh, Yuvraj. Now, total score of Yuvraj would be a plus a plus two a. So, total score would be total for Yuvraj would be four a. Yuvraj's total is four a. Now, if I take a to be let's say three, let's say a is three. In that case, this score will become twelve. But it says that the student's score cannot be less than thirteen. So, a equal to three is not possible. If I take a to be let's say four. If I uh, take a to be four, let's say a is four. In that case, the total of Yuvraj would be sixteen, which which is a possibility. If I take a to be five, then the total of Yuvraj will become four a means twenty. In that case, a uh, score of Yuvraj and uh, Sachin will be same. But point number five says score of each uh, sorry point number four says total score was not same for that any of the two students. So that means a is equal to five is also not possible. So only value possible for Yuvraj is a equal to four. So that means the value of a is four, and it means that his scores would be 
फोर फोर एंड एट सो ही हैज अ टोटल ऑफ सिक्सटीन स्कोर सो रैंक नंबर थ्री विल गो टू सहवाग नाउ लेट एस चेक द क्वेश्चन विद दिस आर टेबल इज नाउ कंप्लीट लेट एस चेक द क्वेश्चन ना फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन से इज हाउ मच डिड युवराज स्कोर इन द राउंड थ्री so you raj scored 8 in the round 3 so answer is option number 1 second says what is irfan's total score so irfan's total score is 19 option number 2 what was the sum of the scores of all the four students in the round 2 in the round 2 the scores were 6 plus 5 11 17 and 21 option number 1 and the last one says what was the sum of all the uh, what was the sum of the final scores Of all the four students, so we have to add these uh, four scores: seventeen plus twenty, thirty-seven, and this is thirty-five. So it will be seventy-two. So total would be seventy-two, right? And seventy-two uh, is not given, so answer would be option four. So this is all about this set. I think you people got uh, the idea about this set. Thank you to all of you.